Hi guys, this is Corey with SellerCore.com. Today I want to dive in a little deeper and show you how to use slideshow images in your eBay template. I'm actually today going to be swapping a static image for a slideshow right in the same spot in the template. Very easy to do, just a couple steps. So let's get started. So here I have a great template. Actually, the good people over at Rudy's Performance Parts let me use. Check them out on eBay. I'll provide a link below. They have this template here and what I want to do is there's plenty of information that looks great. I just want to swap this static image here and put a slideshow here so it basically scrolls through all the available pictures I have of this product. So very, very simple to do, just a couple steps. So first thing I want to do is I want to go to my Cellicore Manager. You could also do this in the editor, it's just easier to do it in a manager, I think. Go to my images. And first thing that, and probably the most important thing with a slideshow is I need to create a custom folder. And the reason why is that when it comes to slideshows, every image in a folder will be shown so this laptop image folder all these images would be in a slideshow so what I want to do is create a new folder we'll put it in my main folder I want to call it HNS and save that and then I want to go to the HNS folder there's no images in it obviously we just created it and go to choose files and here are my five pictures of that same part so I just want to click on them. You can use control, hold down control, and you can click click random images. Or if you hold down shift, it'll collect all of them across. So you got my five selected, five files, and yeah, I could make changes if I need to. Here I'm just gonna leave the defaults, save images. So we're uploading five images now. This is gonna take a couple seconds. And there they are. That wasn't too bad. So now that these are uploaded, I'm gonna go back and click on this file, this uh, image folder over here. And what you'll see is you'll see this. It's a default slideshow. And I know this could have said slide. The other one will say my slide. I'll show you that in a second. But this is the Cellicore default. If I click on this, it'll show me my slideshow. And when I mean say by default, it's this. This uh, controls here, that controls there, they're down here, they're circles, they're gray. Of course, the image is blown up because it's the size of my whole screen. That normally won't be an issue. But these are the default control settings. What I want to do is I want to make a custom, a custom slideshow. So later on, I can go back and I can change that without having to go and rechange everything in all my templates. I can just change the slideshow and it'll change all my templates for me. So I can do that just by hitting edit the slideshow right here, or I can also do it by going into image slideshows. Either way, it bring you to the same spot. So since I went this way, I want to hit new slideshow. I want to title it. I'll title it the same thing. You can call them different things, whatever you want. I want to select that image folder, and here we are. Here we see those images we just uploaded. They're now in a slideshow. It'll scroll to the next one. You know, I can make it make it a little bit faster so it changes them faster so from here I could go in and get real in depth change the colors change all my controls change everything else but we're not going to do that in this video so I'm just gonna save it now once it's saved once it's saved you can see that it gave me its own custom URL it says my slide you know it's own so that's why I know this is different so when I click on this one you'll see that they're not gray they're whatever that custom color was so this one's a little bit different so this URL is going to be important in about two seconds so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our template and here's our static image we want to swap out so I'm gonna click on it and the most important thing to notice is over here I just the uh, width and height of 364 that this happens to be 364 on each but yours may be different take note of these write them down if you have to because this is going to be important. So 364, I think I can remember that. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to delete the image. Do you want to delete the image? Yes, I do. It's gone. And I'm going to click where the image was. So here, I'm going to go up and click my embed slideshow. This is also how you would embed videos, YouTube videos, whatever. I want to embed a slideshow. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to right click and copy that URL. I'm going to right click and paste it into here. And as soon as I do that, Cellicore realizes that this is a slideshow, so it saved this from me. It saved it from YouTube to slideshow, but just make sure that it says slideshow. 
and that was the default size of the video that loaded so we want to make sure that that's 364 and 364 now what that's going to do is make this slideshow the same size of the image that was here so your images don't have to be you know exactly square like this one is they can be off this Cellicor slideshow will adjust so if the image is taller it'll squeeze it in tall if it's wider it'll squeeze it in wide so they'll all fit but they'll stay within that width you know Cellicor will pick the best way to put that image in there without distorting it so the next thing to do is we could obviously hit OK and drop that in but this is a very very important step if we want to later go back and edit this source or edit the size or maybe throw a video in there instead it's very hard to do in the editor because this little box is actually another web page that is showing so when I click in there nothing would happen so I need a, I need a way of clicking on this in the editor and the easiest way of doing that is to add a border to this so what I'm gonna do is this is just a little trick that I've learned it takes two seconds I go to border I'm gonna turn it on I'm gonna make it about four pixels just so something wide enough we can find to pick on or click on pick on click on and um I don't want it red I mean I, I could obviously leave it red if that's what I want I can make it black like the template or whatever else I want In this case I don't want to see it at all so I'm just gonna drop that down and make this transparent you can make any color transparent ultimately it goes back to being transparent so click on that it shows me it's transparent but technically it's still there so go forward go forward and there it is now we have an image slideshow in our template you can preview that slideshow loads you know if someone holds the image over to it stops it so those are all settings in our slideshow but more importantly when I click on this nothing happens however if I go over and I find the edge and I click there now you see this little object in my path shows up now I have the ability to clicking there going editing my media if I want to change something I can do that from there I could also change my my CSS if I decided later I do want a border so that's how you do that so the reason I say create a custom slideshow is from here we have the options of going back clicking on my slideshow let's say that I want that progress bar to be I don't know red we'll move this to left bottom and we want to we just want to hide the controls all together so this will be our new thing so once I save this it's saved now I'd have to refresh this template but if I that's to see the changes but if I preview it we'll see the changes now it's red in a corner and there's no other controls I can still click on I can still click on that to change the image I want or it'll change on its own so anyways guys that's how you do that that was pretty easy pretty painless this is Corey with Sellercore.com. Please leave me questions or comments below. Thank you.